Egyptian architecture is some of the most iconic in the world. Pyramids, temples, and tombs are dotted across the country, testimony to the skill of the ancient Egyptians. But what influenced the development of this distinctive style of architecture? In this video, we'll explore some of the key factors. Geographical The River Nile was a huge asset for Egypt, not only because it was a valuable commercial route but also because its waters nurture desert sands to turn them into productive crops. On the river's banks lie the remnants of ancient Egyptian pyramids, temples, and tombs. Geological In Egypt, there was an abundance of granite, cyanite, in the south, sandstone in the middle, and limestone in the north. There was no wood that could be used for construction, only little palm and acacia forests existed. Climate the equable and temperate environment, with no snow or frost, and the rarity of storms, fog, and even rain, is largely responsible for the temple's excellent preservation. It has been said that Egypt only experiences the spring and summer seasons. As a result, the climate had a significant role in shaping the characteristics of the architecture, despite the simplicity of the building's construction. Religion at this time, a tight relationship between religion and architecture is visible everywhere. One of the outstanding features of Egyptian architecture, both in its temples and its tombs, is a hint of mystery. The papyri have preserved the remnants of Egyptian literature, which acquired a very high level of scholarship in astronomy, mathematics, and philosophy. The religion was initially monotheistic, but in reality it evolved into a polytheistic one in which several deities were personified by both the physical creation and various natural phenomena, like the sun, moon, and stars. Strong believers in an afterlife, the Egyptians took great care to preserve their dead and built structures that would survive forever, like the pyramids. According to Herodotus, they only saw the dwelling house as a temporary place to stay, with the tomb serving as their permanent home. Social and political A huge population was ready for labor on public projects, and the workers were likely just paid for their meals. Due to the availability of inexpensive labor, it was possible to complete huge and significant constructions. Some claim that the people was able to work on these state buildings because of the downtime brought on by the yearly floods. In the first chapter of the book of Exodus, the natives are supposed to have seen the increasing numbers and strength of these outsiders with worry. During the reign of Ramesses II, prisoners and foreigners, who had greatly increased, were compelled to labor on the public works. Historical it is possible to date Egyptian civilization to more than 4000 BC. The pyramids are believed to be a 1000 years older compared to any other Western Asian structure that has been found. 30 dynasties, dating as far back as BC 332, comprise the arrangement of the kings or pharaohs. These can be classified into the following time periods based on the list main though, an Egyptian priest who served around BC 300 and wrote a Greek language history of Egypt as the following periods. 1. Prehistoric period, BC 23000 to 4777. 2. The Ancient Empire, Dynasties 1 to 10, BC 4777 to 2821. Capital, Memphis, the tombs of this period are at Abydos, Nakata, Memphis, Saqqara, Gizeh, and Abu Sur. 3. The Middle Empire, Dynasties 11 to 15, BC 28 21 to 1738. Hisko's Dynasties or Shepherd Kings. 4. The New Empire, Dynasties 15 to 20, BC 1738 to 950. Capital, Thebes. Many imposing buildings were erected at Karnak and Luxor. 5. Period of Foreign Domination, Dynasties, 21 to 25, BC 950 to 663. 6. The Late Egyptian Period, Dynasties, 26 to 30, BC 663 to 332. The Persian Domination. 7. The Greco-Roman Period, BC 332 to AD 640. I, Alexander the Great and Ptolemaic period, BC 332 to 30. 2, the Roman period, BC 30 to AD 395. 
3. The Byzantine Period, AD 395 to 640. 8. Medieval Egypt, Mahometan Period, AD 640 to 1517. 9. Modern Egypt, Turkish Domination, A.D. 1517 to the present time. Ramesses I, B.C. 1400 to 1366, established the 19th dynasty, which is generally regarded as the most spectacular period in Egyptian art history. The temples of Thebes and other construction sites provide proof of his brilliance, as well as that of his grandson Ramesses II, B.C. 1333 to 1300. The nation was taken over by the Persians under the 26th dynasty in BC 527, but Alexander the Great of Greece was able to retake it in BC 332. Egypt was given to Ptolemy, one of Alexander's generals, after his death and the split of his kingdom. Ptolemy established a dynasty that lasted from BC 323 to BC 31. Egypt was captured by the Romans, who later annexed it as a province, following the battles that culminated in Cleopatra's death. Egypt was captured by the Arabs in AD 638 with the rise of Mohammedanism, and they left behind significant monuments, Saracenic architecture. It was included into the Turkish Empire in the year 1517.